In the previous video of our dark web series, we covered various aspects of the internet, including the different types and their uses. We delved into the dark web and discussed its illegal activities, ending with a glimpse into the disturbing world of red rooms. Today, we'll delve deeper into this chilling topic. Before we proceed, I want to issue a strong disclaimer. Never attempt to visit the dark web or deep web. Enjoy life and steer clear of these dangerous corners of the internet. Additionally, this video contains graphic content, including blood and violence. As we delve deeper into the topic of the dark web, the content may become increasingly unsettling. If you're not prepared for this, I advise you to exit the video now. Otherwise, proceed at your own discretion. Let's talk about Red Rooms, perhaps the most sinister aspect of the dark web. Imagine entering a live stream where people are conversing in various languages, with numerous Bitcoin donations flooding in via super chats. However, the screen remains pitch black until suddenly, the lights come on, revealing a person seated in front of the camera. But upon closer inspection, you realize that the person is restrained. Then, Another individual appears, wearing a mask and gloves, reading the comments from viewers and posing questions in text form, such as what should I do with them. The comments flood in, with viewers eagerly suggesting different methods of torture and donating thousands of bitcoins to see their requests fulfilled. Some viewers even request gruesome acts like severing fingers or limbs. The person running the Red Room selects requests from those who donate the most bitcoins and proceeds to carry out the torture. Tempting to close the stream proves futile, as a warning message pops up, threatening that if you do so, you'll be the next one in the chair in the next stream. Thus, viewers are compelled to watch the horrifying spectacle unfold. Eventually, the video abruptly ends leaving viewers in the dark about the fate of the victim. This is the reality of Red Room's live streams where individuals are brought in to be tortured based on viewers' requests. Fueled by Bitcoin donations, victims are kidnapped and subjected to unimaginable horrors. Unfortunately, the popularity of Red Rooms has spawned similar sites, perpetuating this cycle of cruelty. Some skeptics argue that Red Rooms are fake dismissing them as mere movie clips or staged scenes. However, doubt still lingers in the minds of many. Is this truly happening on the internet? The truth remains shrouded in uncertainty. Disturbingly, information has emerged from Red Room suggesting that terrorists are utilizing similar streams to collect funds. Given that all transactions on the dark web are conducted in coins, it serves as an ideal platform for raising funds for nefarious activities. On the dark web, one can commission custom services or request specific videos to be made. For example, you could pay for a service that involves finding an individual matching certain criteria gender, age, appearance, body type. Once the victim is located, they are kidnapped and brought into a live broadcast to endure torture as specified by the client. In just a few moments, I'll delve into the types of individuals who purchase such services and are willing to pay for the lives of others. It may sound incredulous, but these types of services are in high demand on the dark web. Those tasked with fulfilling the client's orders meticulously scour their lists to find suitable victims and carry out the assigned tasks. Clients can request gruesome acts such as dismemberment among other horrifying requests, all of which are viewed by spectators. Furthermore, clients can demand that someone be stalked, gathering detailed information on their whereabouts and activities. Essentially, with enough bitcoins, one can stalk anyone in the world. Now, you might wonder, what kind of individuals or psychopaths engage in purchasing and demanding such heinous acts? And how can they justify gambling with someone's life? The answer is rather straightforward. The millionaires, consider for a moment. What do millionaires do with their wealth? They indulge in every conceivable luxury. From designer brands to extravagant vacations, sports, casinos, and even drugs. 
However, even with their vast riches, they may seek new experiences and thrills, leading them to explore the services offered on the dark web. A prime example of this fascination with the dark side is evident in the popular Netflix, Squid Game. In this show, wealthy individuals wager money on human lives, orchestrating deadly games where contestants fight for survival. It's a chilling depiction of how the wealthy might seek entertainment at the expense of others, mirroring the realities of the dark web. Now, let's delve into another disturbing site, Cannibal Cab. This site is deeply unsettling and may provoke discomfort. If you're sensitive to discussions of violence and extreme topics, I advise you to exit the video now. Cannibal Calf is a site that features various recipes for cooking meat. But the disturbing twist is that the meat in question is human flesh. They offer a variety of recipes using human meat. And shockingly, people can even request custom recipes. What's more, they sell these dishes in public places afterward. And the meat is often unrecognizable. They also produce red wines and ketchup made from blood, reminiscent of the infamous case of Jeffrey Dahmer, who made ketchup from his victims' bodies. These examples illustrate the extremes to which human depravity can extend. After learning about the internet, its types, red rooms, cannibal calf, and other dark web phenomena, we can only imagine the horrors lurking in the shadows of the digital world. Unbeknownst to us, you might wonder, if all these atrocities are happening on the dark web, why haven't intelligence agencies and law enforcement been able to shut them down? Well, accessing the dark web requires the use of the Tor browser, which anonymizes users, making it difficult to track them. Furthermore, those selling and streaming such content have no fixed location or identity, making them virtually untraceable. Lastly, Let's discuss one of the most common services on the dark web. Mystery boxes, similar to the trend popularized by YouTube creators. Dark web users can order mystery boxes containing unknown items. Many YouTubers have ordered these boxes and discovered disturbing contents that they were unable to share on their channels. Some have even reported feeling physically ill or disturbed by what they found. The contents can vary widely from property papers to cash and sometimes even more unsettling items. This concludes this part of our dark web series. In the next episode, we'll explore the creepiest videos leaked from the dark web. Stories of people who have visited the dark web. Famous dark web cases. And accounts from victims and those who have narrowly escaped dark web predators. Stay tuned for the next episode.